Out of Oahu, about a third of a mile off the shores of Kualoa Beach, we found a very famous island called Mokoli'i, most commonly known as China Manhattan. I've lived in Hawaii all my life, but I've never taken the time to explore this tiny island, so I'm stoked to be able to do it today. You see, one of my favorite sayings in life is this Blessed are the curious, for they shall always have adventures. And blessed are the adventurers, for they shall always have great pictures to show and awesome stories to tell. You see, my friends, this life is full of awesome discoveries and new adventures every single day. But in order to find them, we gotta be willing to get off the couch, get out of the house, and start living our lives in the real world instead of the artificial world of Hollywood movies and social media. One person said it like this, you can't discover new oceans unless you're willing to lose sight of the shore. And that, my friends, is the truth. Those who choose to spend their lives on the shores of complacency and comfort often miss out on the oceans of adventure and the islands of experience. So it's either you launch out or you miss out. And for me, I don't want to miss out on anything. So today, we're going to explore more as we launch out to see what's happening on China Manhattan. Now this island obviously got its nickname due to its likeness to the rice hats of Asia. Now these Asian rice hats are not the most fashionable, but they're definitely practical. And in my opinion, practical is more important than fashionable, especially on a hot Hawaiian day like today. You see, the conical shape of these hats is such that it provides a nice shade from the sun and even a small shelter from the rain. In the rice fields of Asia, it protects the farmers from getting toasted from the powerful rays of the sun. But these hats are not only helpful in Asia, I'm finding it very useful on a hot summer day like today. <laughs> As beautiful as it is, this island just doesn't have much when it comes to shade. A bunch of bushes, a few coconut trees here and there. It's just like the top of an Asian rice hat. It absorbs all the heat of the afternoon sun. Jesus is the answer. You see, just as my Asian rice hat has provided shade from the hot Hawaiian sun, so too does our God cover us from the sun of trial and the heat of hardship. The Bible says that the Lord is your keeper and your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. For he has been a stronghold to the poor and to the needy, a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. Now God doesn't stop the sun of trial from shining. He didn't promise that life would always be cool and refreshing and easy. But he did promise to preserve us in pain, to cover us in conflict, and to shield us in sorrow. He has pledged to us his holy word that when things begin to heat up in our lives, that he is our shade by day, our defense by night, and a shelter in the time of storm. And as long as we remain under his covering, we will be able to rise above the heat of this world and stand at the top of the mountain of victory. We will then trade our Chinaman's hats for a royal diadem, a crown of everlasting life. And then we will rise from this earthly paradise to the sweet paradise of God. 